Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I bless the Lord for allowing us to bring the news to you because there is a whole lot more going on than meets the eye. And if you look at the judgments of the Lord here upon the USA right now, you can see that there are different layers to it. There are physical judgments as well as spiritual. Ultimately, everything is spiritual. And we know that the spirit realm is actually more real than the physical. And the spirit realm is the eternal realm, whether we go to heaven or hell when we die. And that is the forever realm. So we need to choose to live for Jesus Christ today. Amen. Well, I think that those who have eyes to see that the headline news today, they can see that the smoke, 20 states are under a smoke advisory. I believe it's representative. It's a prophetic also about the spiritual smoke in hell that will ascend forever and ever in the presence of the Lord and in the presence of his holy angels. That is in Revelation chapter 14. This is a form of the fiery torment for those who rebel against God and for those who take the mark of the beast. So let these smoky headlines be a prompt for you intercessors out there, for those who are walking in the spirit that millions of folks are heading to hellfire here in the USA because they have chosen to worship the things of this world instead of the things of God. The USA has sought after pleasure instead of righteousness. Now, on a side note, I have been warning my very own family about the mark of the beast, uh, where it's at in the Bible, and about the mark of the beast technology which is being uh, developed right now at warp speed. And we are seeing the micro needle bioilluminescent patches being utilized. They're working on them in phase one and phase two clinical research trials. And I wanna take a look at this article today. Goodbye syringe, measles and rubella patch demonstrates its worth in Gambia vaccine trial. And it is being touted as painless, easier to administer, and more thermostable than traditional vaccines. Microarray patches will be the future of the vaccine industry, meaning the microarray, meaning multiple vaccines in one patch, and especially for low income and pandemic settings. Now, remember, I have shared on here a few times that the Lord has shown me in a vision the Robin Williams movie, the movie poster for the movie Patch Adams. And he spoke to me that the beast wants to place patches on all of his Adams, not A-T-O-M-S, but rather A-D-A-M-S, mankind. And I think most people will qualify for both categories to receive these new medical advances, those in poverty, which is exponentially rising every day, and pandemics. Pandemics and poverty, those will be the tools to usher in the beast kingdom, their polycrisis kingdom. Now let's take a look at this video, friends. Notice how they want to sell you the vaccine using a Band-Aid-like micro needle patch virtually painless, they say, and delivered right to your front door. And I've also seen in the news where packages of these can be delivered by drones to hard reach areas such as in the mountains. So crazy times we're living in. Let's take a look at this video.
All right, well, did you catch the size of that vaccine patch? I mean, it sure has an uncanny resemblance in size to that Neuralink product that Elon Musk is pushing. Now, I watched his Neuralink product demo uh, just a couple weeks ago, and I took copious notes for all of us. And in his demo that he recorded and made available to the public, he said that ultimately the purpose in making that demo was to recruit his Neuralink team. He's recruiting people, good people, great people to come and work with him at Neuralink so that this product can come to fruition. He stated that he wants to make it affordable and reliable so that anyone who wants one can have one. And he also wants to solve important brain and spine problems with a seamlessly implanted device, a device that you can have placed in your skull in which you can look and feel totally normal. And he said that all of our senses, our sight, our hearing, um, our feeling and pain, they're simply just electrical signals sent by neurons to the brain. Now, if you can correct these signals, he says, you can correct everything from memory loss to brain damage. The neurons are like wiring and you need an electronic thing to solve an electronic problem, he said. And boy, he sure made the entire process easy to understand for us humans, didn't he? And he's trying to get all of us in humanity to buy into his Neuralink product by proving how they have refined the surgery and how over time, every single human on this planet will have some sort of a brain or a neurological issue in their lifetime. So what's he trying to sell again? That mankind needs this device, a generalized brain device that is reliable and affordable. And friends, he compared it to a Fitbit, those exercise bracelets that have the biometric measurements of your body in it. He compared the Neuralink to the Fitbit in a very simplistic way. Um, you know, it's going to go in your skull. It's going to have tiny wires. And he also touted that if you have never uh, had eyesight before, that you can have your eyesight restored. And I thought he must be reading his Bible and trying to do the very same thing that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done. And in this very long presentation that he did, he had uh, some, some of his researchers chiming in on how awesome this product will be and uh, how it will work. It will stimulate neural activity in the brain by injecting an electrical current through every channel and thousands of channels. For those who are blind, it will work within the visual cortex part of the brain. An image will be taken by a camera, just like the camera on the iPhones or whatever phone you have. And then that image will be streamed, that data will be streamed to the device and the image will then be converted into a pattern of stimulation on the actual visual cortex. And his team, they did an amazing job of making it simple for humans to understand. They really will be disappointed if us humans don't buy into their miracle-making technology. Now, I think tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to take you through the surgery process for the implantation of this Neuralink, you know, just so everyone is aware of how it's carried out by robots and uh, maybe we'll pretend that Elon Musk is the doctor that, or the nurse that's going to check you in in the pre-op surgery uh, area. Again, the size of this Neuralink device, very similar to the micro needle patch or that band-aid that we showed you in the earlier video. Now, perhaps some people who eventually take the mark of the beast, uh, they will have an implantable version of this band-aid patch as well as the implanted version. I don't know exactly how it will play out, but perhaps there's going to be a few options depending on where you live in the world. 
and I have some more interesting information to share about the iPhone technology that people are carrying around with them in their pockets every day uh, that will also be incorporated into the Mark of the Beast. I'll be sharing that information with you very soon as well, so please come back for that. Well, friends, I want to thank you for joining us today, and I want to say a prayer in closing for the families of those in the bride of Christ. And I want you to know, friends, that God is faithful. He is, and he is working in so many different ways to bring his lost, to bring the lost to his kingdom. And he's also counting on us to do our part. So let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just wanna thank you for our brothers and sisters in Christ today, Lord. Thank you for shedding your precious blood on the cross of Calvary that those who keep on believing in you, they may have access to the eternal gate of heaven. You are that gate, Lord. And I lift up each and every person to your throne of grace today, even uh, their loved ones, their, their co-workers, their neighbors, their neighborhoods, that your spirit would pour out in these places and upon these individuals. And uh, there are some of our loved ones, Lord, who seem so very far away from you. And yet we believe by faith that you are able. You are able to reach the most uh, corrupted hearts out there and help them to come to know you as their Lord and Savior. We all lift up our mustard seeds of faith today, Lord. And Father, we thank you in advance for the mighty work that you will accomplish. We bless you, Lord, and we will stand for righteousness in the earth at this time. Help us to speak against the sins that grieve you and help us to be truth bearers and light bearers in a very darkened world. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, friends. Well, we'll see you again real soon. I just want to remind those of uh, you out there who have taken up gardening because you're trying to be a little bit more independent from the grocery store. Right now is the time to start going to the hardware stores, uh, to the garden centers to get your seeds. They are being marked down 50% off. So if you want to start your own seed storage, storage box like we have, it's a great time to get a good deal. God bless you all, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Good day.